Hey, what's up, Musers? This is John at muse for You, and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can preview your Adobe Muse website using a program called MAMP, which uh, creates kind of like a like a web server on your computer. Uh, and this is really useful if you work with Edge Animate a lot. Uh, if you use a lot of Edge Animate animations, uh, I recently ran into the issue where I had a, f a fairly large website and I exported it as HTML in Adobe Muse uh, without first putting it onto a web server. Uh, that way I could see how the website functions on my computer first before uploading it. And when I exported it as HTML, uh, it actually didn't let me use the Edge Animate animations uh, because it wasn't on a web server. So an example of that, I'll just show you real quick. Um, so this is the website I exported. Uh, it's my muse for You shop website. Um, I had a lot of files, so I wanted to export it so I could browse the website easily uh, without having it load in preview mode or having to exp uh, preview all the f different pages individually uh, to preview it. So I exported it and uh, yeah, to preview it on my computer first. And this is the error I get. Um, there's quite a few edge animate animations. Um, in this website, and this is the error it gives me. It says JavaScript alert, Muse JS Muse JS assert error calling selector, uh, function security error failed to read the content document property from HTML iframe element blocked the frame with an origin null from accessing a cross origin frame. And I actually did a Google search and couldn't find a good solution for this problem. So I ended up uh, using MAMP. Um, I've used it a lot for you know my WordPress websites that I've created. Um, and the thought just occurred to me to try MAMP and it worked. So uh, in this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you where to get MAMP and how to use it to preview your exported Adobe Muse website. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is open up that website. I'm going to open up my uh, museforyoushop.com website and as we can see it has quite a few pages I also have a tablet uh, version and a phone version as well and to preview this in Adobe Muse or in you know my my web browser it would take quite some time to preview all these pages without loading and that's why I decided to export as HTML first to preview the website so if I double click on this home page first and I hit command shift E We can see we have quite a few edge animate animations. We have this intro, we have these arrows, uh, we have these these animations here, and there's a few of them there. So there's quite a few animations. So what I'm gonna do now is export the whole website as HTML. So to do that, you go to File, Export as HTML, and then you can select your folder. So I'm going to actually select a new folder for this. Um, let me just look for that folder and and I'll create a new folder in here and I'll call it uh, Muse for You uh, Muse for You Shop website. All right, now we're in that uh, folder, so I'll click Choose and I'll click OK. So now it's going to export the entire website. Okay, now. This is, this is necessary if we do want to use it on MAMP, uh, but just to give you kind of a background overview as to what I'm doing, um, I, I think it's important to go over this. So, you know, let's say you did want to export your website as HTML, uh, you can do it this way, um, just kind of showing you how to do it. All right, so it's almost done here. And and then if you have a contact form without the domain name inside the email address, it'll give you this error, but that's okay. Uh, but yeah, be sure to check any other errors just to see if they're easily fixable. Um, this is not a big deal, so um, I'm gonna click okay, and I could fix these if I wanted to. Uh, so I'll, I'll click okay. And I'm gonna uh, browse to that folder, and Let's see, Adobe um, use for you 2.0, uh, yeah, videos, and using MAMP. Okay, so here's the folder, use for you shop website. And now if I click on the index.html, again, we get that error because we have these edge anime animations within this website. So now this is where MAMP comes in real handy. 
So to get MAMP, you just go to, uh, I think it's, let me Google it first, MAMP. Yeah, it's uh, www.mamp.info. And you can download MAMP or MAMP Pro. MAMP Pro, uh, they do charge something for that. Uh, but MAMP is free and it does everything you need for for the purposes of this video tutorial and for the purposes of previewing previewing your website with edge animate animations all right so that you just download MAMP so you click download and uh, you can select for Mac OS X or Windows uh, I have a Mac so I would click download and it even has additional PHP versions you don't really have to worry too much about this because Adobe Muse um, doesn't really use PHP it's more WordPress is more PHP and then you just click uh, download so there it's downloading and there it goes so it's fairly large it's 234 megabytes uh, but it's pretty worth it um, it's a good very good program and I'll just cancel that there because I've already downloaded it uh, but once you downloaded it you download it just go through the installation process it's fairly simple and once you've downloaded it you'll, you'll either get an icon on your desktop if you're on Windows or it'll be in your toolbar um, in, in Mac. If it's not in your toolbar, it's in your applications folder. And just search for MAMP. Alright, not MAMP Pro, but MAMP. And then you can, you know, click the down arrow and then the icon to start it up is, is right there called MAMP. Um, I have it in my uh, toolbar down here, so I'm going to click MAMP. And this is the initial screen you get. Now, this is you'll want to set up the preferences before you start the server. So just click on preferences, and then you can select the most important thing is to select here where it says web server, and then you can select the folder where you where you want MAMP to uh, find your websites. Uh, it's very important that you select the folder. You you can probably go with a default folder. You just need to know where it is. Uh, but I've set mine in um, in desktop you know sites and WordPress because I've used WordPress um, I've created website excuse me WordPress websites uh, and WordPress websites do require PHP and um, man has PHP and it creates a live server uh, where you can use that PHP um, on your computer so this is the folder uh, and I'm gonna use it now for Adobe Muse so I'm going to navigate to that folder and yeah it's fairly simple you just um, you just here where it says document root you can select a new folder and it's as easy as that and then you want to place the website inside that last folder in there so I'm going to navigate to that folder so I'm going to go to um, that folder I have it here and I'm going to go to sites and WordPress so it's under sites and WordPress and then if you place any folder in here MAMP will be able to access it and it'll be using that folder as if it was on a live server, which it is. It creates, it turns your computer into kind of a live server. Uh, so basically all we need to do now, um, we can click OK because this is the only option we really need to worry about. And you can look at some of the other options. They're not terribly important. Um, they might be depending on what you need it for. But for now, all we need is to know where the uh, web server folder is. So I'll click OK. And then I want to click on Start Servers right here. And this will start this, the MAMP server on your computer. Or turn your computer into, into a server. All right, and this is the welcome page for MAMP. And basically what we want to do now is copy that exported HTML folder and place it in this uh, folder that MAMP is accessing. Uh, so we're going to go back into, into that folder. I'm just going to go back here. I'm just going to copy this entire folder, muse for you shop dash website. I'm going to go to this WordPress folder. I probably could have named it something different because we're not really working with WordPress. Uh, but for now, I'll just paste it in here because this is where MAMP is looking. And then I'll just hit Command V. I'll hit Command C to copy or Control C if you're on Windows. And then here I'll hit Command V to paste that folder uh, into this folder or, or Control V if you're on Windows. So now this folder is in um, this folder that MAMP is, is looking at. And to access that folder, all we need to do is in the MAMP welcome screen, right here in the URL, delete everything after localhost colon 8888 and backslash. So delete everything after that backslash. 
and then simply type in the folder name. Um, yeah, just type in the folder name. So I'll type in muse for you shop dash website and then click enter. And voila, there's my website. Everything works beautifully. All the edge anime animations work and I can preview my site nice and easy. It's a great way to preview a large site with quite a few pages or just to preview even if it doesn't have a lot of pages. Uh, it's a great way just to preview your site because uh, you can easily preview it as if it was live on a on the web and it just helps you look at the user uh, interaction and if everything feels good and if your website just you know works really well don't know why that popped up but let's try again yeah there it is all right perfect and you can just preview the entire site all the links work awesome cool so that's pretty much it for this video tutorial. Um, definitely check out my museforyoushop.com website. Um, yeah, I, I just think uh, MAMP is a great tool to be able to preview your website. And I looked everywhere on Google and on the internet and I couldn't find a good solution. Some had some different types of code you could put in or I don't know, just a different ideas that didn't quite um, appeal to me. And so I decided to use MAMP and it just worked really well. So uh, hopefully this helps you with your web design and development process. And uh, yeah, I was really happy to make this video tutorial. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, please subscribe below. Uh, you'll get access, yeah, subscribe below. You'll get access to the Muse for You, Muse for you uh, private community, Google Plus uh, private community. Uh, you'll get news and updates on new video tutorials that come out from the Muse for, you, Muse for You YouTube channel. And you'll get news and updates on any new animations or icon sets that come out from the museforyoushop.com website. Uh, also check out museforyoushop.com. I have a bunch of free resources um, and I have my website starter kit, web hosting, uh, widgets and themes for Muse themes and Dollar Photo Club where you can get really amazing uh, images for a dollar and Muse themes has amazing widgets as well. And museforyoushop.com has really cool animations. Um, I can actually show you a few examples. Uh, just some interesting animations to help you kind of brand and add more interest to your website. So uh, definitely check that out. Uh, a few of these are available for purchase, uh, five, $5 here. Uh, but yeah, definitely check it out, preview it, and see if it can help with your web design and development uh, process. So uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial.